My name is Nicole Meyer, and I will be presenting my pioneer presentation on Jane Addams. Jane Addams was born on September 6, 1860, in Cedarville, Illinois. The eighth of nine children born to, affluent, to an affluent state senator and businessman, Adams lived a life of privilege. Her father had many important friends, including President Abraham Lincoln. After graduating, Adams began traveling with a friend of hers named Ellen Starr. Adams and Starr visited the famed Toynbee Hall in London, England, a special facility established to help the poor. She and Starr were so impressed by the unsettled by the settlement house that they were inspired to open a settlement house of their own in Chicago, Illinois. In 1889, Adams and Starr opened one of the fir first settlement houses in both the United States and North America, and the first in the city of Chicago, named the Whole House, which is named after the building's original owner. The house provided services for the immigrant and poor population living in the Chicago area. Over the years, the organization grew to include more than 10 buildings and extended its services to include child care, educational courses, an art gallery, a public kitchen, and several other social programs. The whole house was used to, pr to promote and maintain educational and philanthropic enterprises as a means of advancing social and civic life in the industrial center of Chicago. Starr and Adams developed three ethical principles for social settlements. To teach by example, to practice cooperation, and to practice social democracy, that is, egalitarian or democratic social relations across class, class lines. Adams and the residents of Whole House helped pass critical legislation and influence public policy on public health and education, free speech, fair labor practices, Immigrant, immigrants' rights, um, recreation in public space, and philanthropy. Whole House has long been a center of Chicago's political and cultural life, establishing Chicago's first public playground and public art gallery, helping to desegregate the Chicago's public schools and influencing philanthropy and culture. From Whole House, where she lived and worked until her death in 1935, Jane Addams built her reputation as the country's most prominent woman through her writing, settlement work, and international efforts for peace. In addition to her work at the Whole House, Adams began serving on Chicago's Board of Education in 1905, later chairing its Social Management Committee. Five years later, in 1910, she began the first she became the first female president of the National Conference of Charities and Corrections, which was later renamed the National Conference of Social Work. She went on to establish the National Federation of Settlements the following year, holding that organization's top post for more than two decades thereafter. Adams was also the first American woman to receive a Nobel Peace Prize. Adams had long discussions with philosopher John Dewey in which they redefined democracy in terms of pragmatism and civic activism, with an emphasis more on duty and less on rights. Jane Addams was a passionate feminist by philosophy. In those days before women's suffrage, she believed that women should make their voices heard in legislation and therefore should have the right to vote, but more comprehensively, she thought that women should generate aspirations and search out um, opportunities to realize them. She believed in an individual's obligation to help his or her community, but she also thought that government could help make Americans', Americans lives safer and healthier. Adams' philosophy combined feminist sensibilities with an unwavering commitment to social improvement through cooperative efforts. 